I'm sure that many of you have heard about the platform Wix or at least seen a YouTube ad on your YouTube about how good Wix is. And it's actually a no-code builder which is used by more than 250 million people worldwide. And if we take a look at sources like Built With, it says that it's the second biggest web builder in the world. But is that actually the case? How does it actually compare to Webflow? And should you consider using Wix for your next business venture? Let's find out in this video. My name is Orosh and I'm the founder and CEO of Flow Ninja. We've been awarded the Webflow Enterprise Partner of 2023 and in the process since 2015, we've had a chance to work on more than 150 websites worldwide. I mean, I've been in the no-code space since 2015 and during that process, I've had a chance to interact with almost all of the no-code builders that we currently have online. Everything from uh, kind of WordPress, Framer, which we've already done reviews with and everything up for us, even Wix. So that's why I want to share my personal thoughts and my personal opinion on why I think Wix is good, why I think it's not, and how does it compare to Webflow. And just in full transparency, this is going to be my personal opinion based on that I run a Webflow agency. So just ensure that you don't take anything personally and it's mostly how I feel about Wix and I want to share that in full transparency. If we take a look at a little bit of history, Wix was created in 2006. So it's actually been on the market for almost 20 years. And as said, it has 250 million users worldwide. The main idea behind Wix is that it allows anyone, I mean, basically anyone, even your grandma, to go ahead and create a website in just a few easy clicks. And if we compare that to Webflow, which we already spoke in a lot of videos on our channel, it has been founded in 2013 and it has 3.5 million users, which is actually compared to kind of Wix, a lot smaller number. But on the other side, Webflow is built like a visual builder and it's built as a professional tool for bigger businesses and tech savvy people in the end. So let's go ahead and first compare Webflow versus Wix and just try to understand which one is more user friendly. I'm sure that some of the people in the public have sometimes ridden a motorcycle or at least wanted to ride one. Me personally, I started taking motorcycle classes really, really recently. And I actually want to compare my experience of learning how to ride a motorcycle to Webflow and Wix and how user friendly they are. What? So the first funny thing is like, even before I went ahead and kind of started riding a motorcycle, I actually bought a scooter because I wasn't sure is like driving a motorcycle for me. I wasn't sure if I'm gonna like it. Am I gonna be scared? How am I gonna feel in traffic? And is this something which is actually gonna stick? Just because I did not want to invest into the license, into an expensive bike, just to realize I do not even like it. But really quickly after buying the scooter, it became boring. I mean, like it became slow. I started to get a hang of how it works. And I just started to get a feeling that I can start riding something more advanced and that I'm ready to start riding the motorcycle in general. And if we compare Wix to Webflow, and how does it actually compare to me actually learning how to ride a motorcycle? Well, let's see. If we take a look at Wix, you're not gonna need an instructor, similar to the scooter. You can just go ahead and kind of get on it and build your first website without any previous knowledge and without any help from basically anybody. You might need a few YouTube tutorials, but in general, the platform is so user-friendly that it's gonna allow basically anybody to build a website on their own without any external help. And on the other side, like getting to Webflow is probably gonna be more like riding a motorcycle. I mean, when you start riding a motorcycle, you have the clutch, you need to shift gears up and down, you have the brake, which is on the bottom right. But when you start getting a hang of those things, it starts actually becoming really, really fun. So that's why Webflow is gonna be a little bit trickier on the user-friendliness side, just because it's built on the core principles of web and you're gonna need to be a little bit more tech savvy in order to use the platform. But when you actually start using the, the platform, there are gonna be no no limits on what you're going to be able to do with the platform itself and you're going to feel really empowered to build almost anything on the web. If we take a look at the feature sets, both of them are no-code website builders, they have app integrations, some sort of e-commerce and in general they're going to allow you to build a website. But where they actually start differentiating themselves in the feature set is in the core roots of the platform. Wix is going to allow you to create websites from templates. They have more than 800 templates you're going to choose from. They have AI, which is going to choose the right templates for you. But in general, everything is going to be catered around, hey, we're going to build you a website, which we think is the best. And then you're going to start adjusting that website as you want to kind of on your own personal side. And if you want to create a new website, migrations are going to be hard on Wix and you're going to need to start from a completely new template from scratch. Whereas on Webflow, the fundamental logic is, yes, you're going to have templates, 
but most of the users on Webflow are gonna be building custom things, are gonna be building custom websites, and are gonna require to change them really, really often and to have a much scalable system in the back end after all. The next important thing about uh, all of the websites and website builders is responsiveness, of course. Both of the platforms are responsive because I guess we don't live in a stone age, they need to be responsive, but how granular they get into the responsive side is where they differentiate the most. Wix is gonna have a desktop and a mobile view. And everything in between, Wix is gonna decide how do they want to go ahead and actually change that unless you wanna apply custom code in the end. On the Webflow side, you're gonna have a little bit more complex system on like how you wanna go ahead and kind of scale the website up and down, but that as well is gonna give you much more flexibility. You're gonna be able to have different desktop breakpoints, which are not possible on Wix. You're gonna have a tablet breakpoint, mobile landscape breakpoint, and also the mobile breakpoint. And on top of all of that, you can add custom breakpoints or you can write custom code as you could probably in Wix. If we compare the pricing plans, I mean, not to get into the weeds of every single one of the pricing plans, Wix is gonna be like the one which is gonna come on top as a cheaper option. They're gonna have some plugins which you're gonna be adding on top with time, which might increase the cost of the platform in general. But if we take a look at it cost by cost basis, Wix is gonna be cheaper. I don't usually like talking about these prices a lot because both of the platforms are like around 20 bucks and like whether you're gonna spend 30 to 40 or you're gonna spend 15 to 20. If you're running a business, that's probably not gonna be the biggest differentiator factor for you and for your wallet in the end. On the CMS and SEO side, again, it's gonna come to the like base templated route for Wix and the custom approach for Webflow. Wix actually has CMS. It's gonna allow you to create blogs, it's gonna allow you to create other content management types, but it's gonna give you templates. Instead of you actually going ahead and creating a completely custom content management system, it's gonna say, hey, we have these 15 templates, choose which one of them you wanna use and cater your content towards that. Versus on the Webflow CMS side, I look at it as even a headless CMS at one point. Just because you can build really complex structures, you can send the data from the API to Webflow, from Webflow to other APIs, and in general, the CMS is much more advanced. It's gonna allow you to scale to hundreds of thousands of pages. And on the SEO side, both of the platforms have the same base features, like when it comes to the SEO, where Webflow afterwards is gonna give you more flexibility. But in the end, I would say on the SEO side that you're gonna be good in going with any of these two platforms. And to conclude the review itself, both platforms are gonna be great. I mean, like I would personally recommend if you're starting, you have no idea about websites, you have no idea about how you wanna present your business online, you can buy yourself a scooter or you can go ahead and kind of get the, the Wix platform and just get to know kind of how the web works and kind of how websites works, which is great. And that might be the only thing you need. You might not need anything more custom than that. But on the other side, when your business starts scaling, when your appetite grows bigger and you wanna buy a motorcycle in the end, you can go ahead and start considering Webflow as a platform and really start unlocking your business with the flexibility that Webflow has. And if you want to hear more tips and tricks on how to optimize your website and how to grow it properly, we recorded a really in-depth video on how to actually grow your website to $1.7 million in revenue in just 30 minutes or less.